right, here we are in a beautiful Lake Havasu City morning looking at a very cool 1956 Chevy Resto Mod. Old school style, very cool, exceptional fit and finish throughout. And you look at the finish around this, you walk around as we walk around, make sure you stare at the uh, reflections on the paint finish and definitely go to Spud's Garage. We're gonna walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. 210 post, trim. It has 210 trim on the side. It's actually originally began as a Bel Air, but they've added the uh, 210 trim on the side and retained the factory Bel Air side window trim. So it's a, just a nice, subtle touch, nicely done. You look down the side here, see the reflections of the garage, that type of thing. All the way around, it has a very nice set of Halibrand, original Halibrand wheels, Halibrand knockoffs. We get tire specs and all that stuff and we get up on the lift and get in a little bit more detail. Just uh, amazing fit and finish on this car as we cruise around it. Notice the door gaps and extensive amount of time was spent on the body, that type of thing. This car actually, first time out, it only has 515 miles on it since it was built. First time out, it won the Boyd Coddington pick it also won best in class at the uh, Roadster Show. Or the Grand National Roadster Show. Fit of panels as we cruise around here. Underneath the hood is the fun part. When I mentioned old school hot rod, old school style hot rod, resto mod, takes you back in time, probably about 70s I would say, feel wise. It's all about business. Four fifty four cubic inch V eight underneath the hood that's been bored out. So it's four hundred and sixty cubic inches. That's early Corvette tri power. Sixty seven tri power on the big block. TKO five speed transmission. Four nine inch rear differential with a uh, three ninety posi. As we go through the video here, we'll cover specs, that kind of thing for you. But look at the fit up front here. I have studied this car over and over. The only mark I can find is a little tiny chip right there, which is an easy touch up rock chip. The other thing I want to point out here, you probably get a good feel to it. These cars have a natural body line that leads into the top of the door edge in the back there. But they put a crisp line on the fender takes a lot of time. You'll see how it follows all the way through here. Again, look at the fit while we're there. Step back and let's take a look at the reflection. I know the light's a little odd. Factory style chassis at the back. It has parallel leaf springs with old school traction bars, which are noted right there. Two and a half inch exhaust on it up front here. Factory suspension, disc brakes up front. It also has a early Trellovac style power brake assist to it, which is underneath the car. We'll cover that on the undercarriage. Door jam to door jam. Get into this uh, beautiful lipstick red leather interior. Perforate, perforated uh, leather inserts on the top here. Dash, not modified, beautiful factory trim on it. Appears to be a glide engineering style seat. We'll get more specs as we go along here as the owner Daryl's filling my brain with stuff. Headliner. Dome lights working. Very meticulous owner. I would call him a perfectionist, which is a good thing. Here's a view of the Tremec 5 speed. So this is uh, all business, no frills car. Shut the door here, like that. Like, uh, see the reflections there, see me in the side. When they did the uh, restoration, they put all new OEM style glass in it, so it's OEM style tint. Or factory. Look down the side there. The only thing you'll notice is they have shaved the trim, front and rear. 
but there's you know it gives you this is a stink single stage paint so it gives you kind of like uh, guys describe as a bowling ball style feel to it in other words it is so smooth and so beautiful that uh, clear coat would have usually uh, can hide a lot of things you can't hide things with uh, a single stage like this again only 515 miles on it since it was done we're complete open the door here same thing over here the beautiful lipstick red interior early style Corvette steering wheel fin tag is right there three pedals emergency brake all the stuff you would expect on a car that was gonna go fast and have some fun tilt steering column nice black finish that matches the uh, rest of the finish on the car again door jam catch the odometer here it's hard with the tachometer there 515 miles since it was built this is a custom auto uh, sound style receiver 250 watt amp in the back it has a CD stack player in the trunk in a hidden panel gauges underneath here the water temp temperature senders right here oil gauge again just about business uh, GM style uh, tachometer early in the morning here hopefully neighbors won't be mad at me car is cold right now we took a video running underneath the hood <laughs> it does not have wipers the wipers are on it but the system is not there Get out and let you hear it run here. Very, very nice. One old school hot rod. All right, let's get you underneath the hood. Very nice, like we talked about during the walk around. Fit and finish all the way through this car is just simply amazing. You'll see the finish on the bottom side of the hood here. A lot of time was spent on detail up front here has a custom built core support that's been finished obviously in body color show quality finish on it custom built radiator shroud all the way around stainless hardware finish follows all the way down here along the firewalls you'll see the stainless fasteners here on the aprons smooth firewall It's a uh, 454 cubic inch, board 30 over, so it's a 460, custom built comp cam, oval port cylinder heads, it has a 67 Corvette tri-power with the riser style intake on it, which are fairly hard to find, has a flex cooling fan, power steering like we talked about, there's a power steering pump that's been chrome plated. But everything has its place. You see he's put separators here on the uh, power steering lines to keep them nice and in place. Has a uh, GM HEI ignition with a Petronics control module in it. You'll see the Winters intake insignia on the intake manifold there. Try power this thing starts right up started right up this morning ice cold we just pulled it out of the garage ceramic coated long tube headers on it has a Tremec TKO 5 speed in it with a McLeod clutch instead of a pilot bushing it has a needle bearing in there clutch is very smooth on it has a Ford 9 inch rear differential Curry style axles 31 spline 390 ratio posi Alright, we fired it up here. It's absolutely cold. Very nice. 
you wanted me to point out one thing that it is a clutch fan it has a clutch fan on it right there which is a direct drive We're going to do a little add-in note here. I guessed on the uh, seat being a Glide Engineering update after I walked around. This is the factory original seat. The whole interior was done by Dave Lopez of D'Alegance Interior. Yeah, in Upland, California. Upland, California. Well, what he did was he added the uh, uh, armrest out of a 77 El Camino and turned it into a... Uh, drop down armrest style. All right, we're gonna open up the trunk here for you and get in the trunk. There's a micro switch underneath the bottom side of the dash right here. And we'll get you underneath the dash while you're here, modern style wiring in it. All right, we'll get you in the trunk here. Same interior look and feel, beautiful with the uh, perforated, perforated leather, leather up top. I'll get it out of my mouth this morning. <laughs> Has a six stack or a ten stack CD player back here. Again, kind of old school. That's neat. We don't test those, so that's up to you. Notice that the spare tire well here has been filled in, so you have a full flat surface to throw your show chairs or chairs in the back. I got it fired up here in the driveway. I'm going to take it for just a quick little shift down the street for you. The clutch is. Uh, just perfectly smooth, by the way. Nice ratio. TKL makes a nice shift with the 390 gears in the back. Lady walking her dogs here. Beautiful. Have a seat day. as promised we get you up on the lift here like I usually do I'll do this before I'd actually do the photo set on the car so I get a good feel that kind of thing uh, and the full walk around on the car but anyway here we go very nicely done body off restoration 56 Chevy two-door sedan body off restoration it has a, a lot of meticulous detail in it here you'll see the fuel tanks been painted a Beautiful gloss finish. It's coated inside and outside. There's a coating on the inside. Custom built exhaust, your rear exit here. There's a battery turn off switch here in the back. We'll actually take you around the outside of it here too and share the uh, frame rails, that kind of thing. And then a bird's eye view of the side body panels. Parallel leaf springs in the rear here. Chrome plated traction bars, Ford 9 inch rear differential, 390 ratio, limited slip. A lot of money in the diff here. Uh, it has uh, Curry axles in it, 31 spline axles. Nice pan hard bar across here. A lot of horsepower underneath the hood, so it definitely needs uh, some strength. These traction bars are neat. They actually add structure to the spring pockets for the forward spring pockets. Nice here, you can pull the exhaust out in pieces. Bolt together here. Just gas shocks on the rear. Again, we'll go to the outside frame rail, but the floor pans are finished with a nice uh, semi-gloss finish. Not undercoated, that type of thing. Flowmaster mufflers. It's all ceramic coated exhaust on it. 
we'll get you up here into the rockers frame factory frame factory box frame again these exhausts can come out sections very nice you don't mess up the underneath the hood with this treadle vac style bendix style power brake assist on it they actually have a hydraulic assist here it's vacuum assisted has a proportioning valve here again all new body mounts that type of thing during the restoration nicely bent lines here's the tremec five-speed transmission it's perfect for the uh, ratio we we're in by the way nice attitude and then you throw it in fifth gear and cruise down the highway factory style front suspension again meticulous in attention all cad plated bolts or chrome disc brakes up front drum in the rear chrome oil pan on the 454 nice custom built you know typically they'd have the drain pan or drip pan on the bottom of the radiator we'll talk about that while we're up top um, it's got a custom built drip pan here chrome stabilizer bar chrome con control arm bushing washers and bolts custom long tube headers also ceramic coated We'll do a quick back pass through here and then we'll take you to the outside of the car. Got a feel for that. One thing you're going to notice when I do this, when I go along this side here, it's, not, it's a view you're not going to be able to see or we're not able to see when I did the park video, how straight this uh, these panels are on this. There's no puckering on the quarter panels between the trim and the wheel lip, which is typical. Again, factory style parallel leaf springs on them. Here's the uh, traction bar mounts, which actually adds some structure to the forward leaf spring mount. Inline fuel filter, custom bent 3 8 fuel lines, batteries in the back. That's the battery cable. You see the bottom side of the rockers. Again, the reflections of the finish on the side of the car. The front here, outside view. Uh, didn't stop back there, but these are true Halibrand wheels. We talked about that during the walk around. Date codes on these tires are about 05. It's been indoors here in less than a few miles, but we'll get up front here. Another view, quality of the finish. Love doing cars like this. This is just a nice old school hot rod. Front tire size up front here is a uh, 21560 R15. Again, reflections in the side body panels here. Frame rails, rockers, bottom of the rockers have the drains on them. above the wheelhouse there all right we're putting it back into his garage could be going to your garage make sure you go to spud's garage have a great day